All right. All right, Chungxing is nice to get playing with some Prelude Corpse right now. So this is the finals versus Parker. Okay. Not the Preludes you want, but early settlement on three cards? Who says no? Um, okay. It's actually pretty good to just be able to instantly claim specialists with molehole eccentric sponsor here it does mean i give up on the three cards but that's not so important um psychophiles and greenhouses and decomposers all very nice too if i go this route though i am missing on the science tag for agt and that's going to make it harder to get online here. Hmm. So I basically can have a guaranteed specialist. I can take Biolab to have a tag towards AGT and get three cards. But if I whiff, it's kind of a whiffed prelude, so I think these are the better value. And so if I'm taking those, I think I'm supposed to take these for sure. And so now it's just a question of, is it ever correct to take anti-grav in this situation? Or Ganymede Colony. But I think Ganymede Colony is a bit much, to be quite honest. So I pay 10 after Eccentric Sponsor. So I'm at 13 cash remaining. Mine in Titan Psychophiles is 7. So I can afford to speculate on it. So I probably should. Okay. We're a speculating. So really, we just don't want our opponent to have experimental force. That's the one prelude that would be really bad for him to get because it helps so much towards ecologist and also uh, gets him three cards. So that's the prelude you want him to miss. I don't think our setup is bad. I don't think it's particularly incredible either. Hopefully he doesn't have Heat Trappers to ruin my uh, claim early on. But it is what it is on that front. And once again, my dogs decide, hey, now that he's recording, now's the perfect time to start walking around. He's thinking. He usually does. On the plus side, good chance to try out this new filter I installed. See if it works for quieting things down in the background. So much of Elysium is kind of ground focused and the lack of ground cards in my hand has me a little worried. The fact that I uh, have Psychophiles and Greenhouses is nice, but I would really like to find some cities and uh, some plant production. This is kind of the part I hate about <laughs> recording these matches live, which is why I like the replay feature so much on BGA. I don't have a lot to talk about while I'm waiting on my opponent to spend five minutes uh, selecting the cards they want. So the, it's kind of dead air. So feel free to skip ahead 
to whenever he makes his decision and we get the game going. And being told the microwave's about to start up, so let's just try muting the headset for a bit while we wait. Okay, Inventrix, so he's digging. Make sure we take Soletta. And Molehole. Alright, we got our heat. So, I, while I could go ahead and claim Specialist to play around the possibility of uh, heat trappers, um, I think that's not good. I think you should not play around one card in the deck when uh, you have important development plays like uh, Titanium Mine and Psycho Files. It is a small risk. Alright, he did the city, but not on the cards. Interesting. The good news is we dodged it. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and play it and pray no heat trappers. That way we can see what he's doing. Hmm, he did one action, so does that mean he's looking to like imported hydrogen convert? Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. He's now in pretty strong position on uh estate dealer with that play. He's locked up a lot of the central area. But whatever. That's all I can say to that. Okay, Nitro Moss is very good. Tardis is pretty good too. But I think you gotta take the Nitro Moss. Um, Raiders is annoying. I think you have to take power here, though. It's just pretty valuable. Uh, I mean, I don't think any either of it matters. I'm just gonna take power away because that's an award. Yeah. So, new power comes back as well. I could take it but I don't think I need that much power. So we're going to be a little conservative on that. What I will be doing is, assuming I don't get heat trappered, uh, claim the milestone and uh, use take sacrifice. No! Come on! That's so mean. Now I gotta wait on it. Oh, that's so mean. Um, so 22, 31, yeah. I think the power floating over is worthwhile here. Uh, I can take the, I can take heat because uh, there's always the second heat bump right there. Well, maybe I should not, though. I don't know. Hard one. Oh, 
man, cloud seeding is so annoying. <sighs> A rare good cloud seeding. And some card draw, huh? Okay, well, I don't love seeing that. He likes the card, I don't like seeing that either. I think I'm supposed to develop heat. And I'm probably supposed to pass unless I get a space event that lets me take the heat next gen and uh, then uh, double heat to be able to claim specialist. Okay. Ants is a little scary, but I don't think it's that good. I don't think there's any way he's playing IO, so I think I'm supposed to take media group here. Maybe I should have taken hired raiders for legend. I didn't really think about that too much. Ooh. Standard tech. Advanced eco predators. Very interesting. I think at this stage of the game, the standard tech probably matters more. Okay, so ants have been seen, so I need to be aware of that with my decomposers. That may not be as good anymore, which is a problem. So he's having to think real hard between predators and ecosystems, huh? Fair enough. Okay. So it's not crazy to play IO, but it's kind of crazy to play IO. <laughs> I don't think I can really afford it. I'm three cash short. I'd have to skip media and stuff, which I don't think is worth it. Um, I do think I speculate on Preds. He, if he wants to play advanced ecosystems, he probably will have to get an animal, and I think that's good, and I don't have much going on anyway. So we just take this, and is there anything we can fund? Not really. We're basically done here. He likes the card. Not good for me. news is he didn't have much to do either. So Lunar Beam's pretty good, but I think it's gotta be Earth Office here. Ooh, wow. Mass Converter, you say. Electro Cat, you say. I mean, that just looks like an incredibly good Electro Cat for him. I think I'm not supposed to give him that. What's his science tag? Two? That's a little scary. 
I'm gonna say Electro Cat seems scarier to me though. Uh, if I ain't take the first Jove, I don't think I'm taking the second Jove. Ooh, Bumper would be fun. It does let me play around Heat Trappers, this Lunar Beam. But I think I have enough heat in the game already. I don't think I need to spend even more money on it here in Gen 4. Hopefully that's it for the noise for a little while. Mm, he's having to think real hard about this one. Which is fair. Mass is a little scary to pass, but it could be good. But then giving me med lab when I'm already at four tags could be a little scary. tank on this one. I should be thinking if I want to keep, keep Electro Cat in this position. If I get the mine back, I definitely do, which I think is probably what he's thinking about. Okay. So I will take these three. I think Lunar Beam is too expensive. I think this is fine for the time being. And it gives me a shot towards Generalist as well. Which is quite nice. I guess that's what he was debating, is giving me mind. Does that make Generalist a possibility? Oh, if only I had Deimos here. Oh, it'd be so sweet. Blow up his plants, take the heat. Oh, life would be good. <laughs> Alright, never mind. There's the habitat. So my predators are more useless. Uh, the only benefit is that... <laughs> I do have the large combo I can just dump on them. If he has Noctis farming, he can convert. Okay, viral. Arctic algae. Well, that's kind of stupid. Go ahead and take Specialist. <laughs> It'd be funny to go ahead and play that, but I don't think it's right. Um, yeah. Go ahead and play mine. Should be safe enough.
He has had much better cards than I've had so far, with Viral and Arctic Algae on this map. Card draw as well. So there is some opportunity cost, but... I think it'll be okay. I would like to fund something, but I just don't have a fund right now. Celebrity, benefactor, all too unknown to be able to do anything definitive here, I'd say. He might do an SP Ocean here. Mm. Plantation. Plantation is really stinking good for him. But business contacts is really stinking good for me. I think I have to take that. And just be sad about the plantation. With standard tech, plantation's not that amazing for me. But with him having viral enhancers and ecologist being a milestone, it's quite good here. Molehole area is interesting when estate dealer could be funded. But I think fuel generators is still better in that regard, though it is also celebrity. I still think cheap power's gotta be better. Now strip mine, that's an interesting proposition. I don't think it's good enough, but it's interesting. It's very interesting. It is nine production. Permafrost is an event. It's a ways away though. It's good for him with Arctic Algae. Strip mine's not bad for him, though, with all that steel. I think I am supposed to take it, and I might even play it. If I keep three, Earth Office, Raise Heat, then Media Group, Business Contacts, and see what I find. If I don't like it, I can go with this line. It's a little crazy. <laughs> I will be the first to admit. There's also Ant's uh, possibilities of uh, if I play Decomposers, but I am approaching an area with like Decomposers, Greenhouses, and Nitro Moss that conceivably I could just take uh, Ecologist from him. Which obviously has some value. Now if I can get the Nitro Moss down, then that is a uh, pretty good value in terms of getting a generalist. What? What a scumbag. Hmm, I guess it means he just doesn't have a play he wants to play right now. 
special design. Algae. Mm, that's pretty good. Benefits of being in Ventrix, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Media group. Whew. Close one. Okay. That's incredible. All right. We are abandoning our former plans. We have new plans now. Okay, strip mine, you're out. Uh, standard tech, you're in. We are going to probably walk into... We're kind of walking into the ants, unfortunately. But with imported nitrogen, it's not so bad. So we play standard tech here. Okay, natural preserves, nice. Um, yeah. Eco. Eco. Claim. All right, it ain't pretty, but it works. And I get some valuable real estate from the deal as well. Space elevator, you say? That seems not bad. Lichen's fine, flooding's fine, but space elevator seems good here, I think. <laughs> Asteroid mining? <laughs> We're Jove gaming now? I guess just to get rid of the GHG. Just make it so his deal can't be used on anything. Uh, I gotta be flooding. This is gonna help me get uh, nitro moss down potentially. So take these two. And this electro cat may not be happening, which is sad. I expect I'm going to see an ants come down here, which is going to be painful. I, I was aware of the risk when I passed it, but I think it had such high upside, I'm kind of forced to try. And as far as the natural preserve, you might be thinking, oh, you should go on like to titanium or to steel and stuff like that. And I agree, those are good spots, but I'm actually thinking about going right there to kill any sort of ocean uh, rebates in that area and make it so a state dealer is not so easy to be contested. I kind of like the plan. Olympus, so we know we, he has mass. Um, so how much does this cost? Okay, so I can't afford it. Slap that down there just to take that location. Yeah, 
and I can play flooding on him now to slow him down a bit since he did investment loan. I'm working towards being able to play Nitro Moss and claim, but it just ain't gonna happen, I think. Which is a shame. But now he's kind of stuck in that I have cut off access and have tiles in all these oceans, so it's a lot harder for him to have a slam dunk state dealer like he might be wanting. Okay, so there's that mass converter. Unfortunate, but what you gonna do? Gen 6 is a little late for this, but I think it's good enough. I think the Electro Cat may not be happening anymore, though. Huh. Killing off my plants to get the milestone. Fair enough. I wonder if I can fund Celebrity. Probably not with his card draw. Alright, there's the mass converter. Maybe he could fund Industrialist now. Maybe that would be a problem. Can I win Benefactor? I have a lot of heat. I don't really want to let him fund Industrialist, which I feel like is a pretty free fund for him right now. So just the question is, is what can I fund that is safer? Celebrity, um, I could have three cards if I played Strip Mine, which, not the worst idea. A lot of the Joves are out. But I did pass that molehole area, which you could play to help contest it, and I'm not sure I want to play the Strip Mine. Um, estate Dealers off limits. Benefactor, I'm up six. So I could get punished if he has like magnetizer, I'd say. I don't think he kept TG though, so TG threat is gone. Without seeing GIA and Deimos, it feels awfully risky to fund that too. I think I'm going to YOLO fund Celebrity. And we'll see what happens on it.
Okay, there's the city. Makes sense. What is this one action fest? spreadsheet. Check where we're at. Fuel factory. Hmm. Interesting. Is he gonna AMC me? I don't know what that's about. Very interesting. Bushes is huge. Uh, commercial district also huge, but gotta take bushes in this situation. Uh, gotta take this since I funded celebrity. I don't have to keep it. I just don't give it to him. Also, Joves. Joves. <laughs> I don't think space hotels matters. I'm not gonna keep wife, it's too expensive. Search for life. Realistically, do I think I'm getting anti-grav online? Probably not. Probably shouldn't risk it. If I draw AI, of course I'll be upset, but I think it's just bushes here. So commercial district was very sad to pass him. He's gonna be able to make some good use out of that. But bushes would be better for him. It's better for me too with Deco and Eco. I'm surprised, did he not keep the ants? I really thought he'd have kept ants there. Must be nice. Mm. 
I wouldn't mind playing Electro Cat, but I don't have anything to sell with it right now. In Greenhouse, this seems a bit early. I could see him doing like a plantation convert type of thing here. That's why I'm debating this strip mine here. If I do SP Greenery, that's uh, 18 mega credits. So I'm close, but not quite enough. I could sell Electro Cat and Anti Grav. And then SP Greenery into Strip Mine. Take some O2 away from him. Not, it's not the worst play. It's pretty bad though. NRA. So. Now I can turn that online and maybe even play bushes. I don't think I can afford bushes. <sighs> Very interesting. NRA is something you hate to see, but that's also why I didn't fund uh, Benefactor. Much riskier. Currently, I just have urbanized area. So, strip mine for that is definitely a little. Ooh. But it does give me titanium. It does take away O2. And he's getting a lot of the O2 right now. Get four back. I am going to sell Could probably sell Electro Cat. I think Predators is the best sell since it isn't coming online anytime soon. And it's not good enough eating my own animals when I can just play fish and hit that it makes a lot more sense. Alright, so if I SP the greenery get a card and I get five cash back. So that's 17, 19. Twenty-two. Then I have to sell one more and then I strip mine. Oh this is questionable. But it is um Helping my celebrity fund. Yeah, this is super questionable. Alright, we're doing it. Help bribe committee. Excellent. <laughs> that actually does help with benefactor, believe it or not. And... I am short on being able to play bushes. Unfortunate. Okay, lakes incredible. Asteroid mining's annoying. Simbi's quite nice though. 
Gotta take the lake though. That's so good. I am one heat off. That's really annoying. I should have calculated that, so I'd have played fuel generators and gotten that heat over there. It's my bad. My bad. He's got four tiles. Oh, wow. Kelp farming seems incredible. Callisto hitting me is a little annoying. I mean, a Callisto being played could be a little annoying because, again, celebrity, but I think I'm okay if he wants to play Callisto here. Kelp farming seems too good. Okay, well, I'm not getting AMC'd. I don't think I want to play AMC, though. It's really expensive, considering the stage of the game that we're at. Caretaker's funny. If oceans stall, but I already have one, two, three, four, five accounted for, so just two remaining. I don't think they're going to stall too much. I am a little worried that that means that he has birds. I suppose the other side of the strip mine is that it does make industrialists a little riskier for him to fund, since I can just accumulate steel now. Which he can too, but... Benefactor is definitely something I'm considering right now, though. Having Lake Marineris... Nice cap and large convoy in hand, but the problem is still GIA and Deimos being unseen. I think until I know where those cards are at, I can't ever really consider. Going for Benefactor. He has a bit of a problem that it's hard for him to fight State Dealer as well. I've Managed to make it very annoying for him. But it looks like he didn't keep ants, so I made out like a bandit there. I think he's debating about whether to fund something or not. I'm debating about if bushes is good enough to play because of a likely birds coming down. I think I just need to stall out the bushes for that reason. Desert Settler doesn't look too bad for him. Yeah, so he did fund that. It makes some sense. I can now use Urbanized Area to really annoy him down there, but I don't see a re need to focus on it right now. 
we just take our actions. Hmm, he's done, huh? Alright. So if I raise heat twice, I get bushes down, but then I'm really exposed to uh, getting slapped. I'd like to urbanize, but I can't until I have confirmation that I'm safe. I can do it with imported nitrogen, though. I miss out on a point of fish, but with bushes, imported nitrogen, I lose one point, and then I can use it to set up the city down there and then convert between them so he doesn't get convert between these, I guess. One, two, three, four. Then can I get close enough to do greenhouses? That's just standard the city too, which isn't great. Standard city is 25, but 22. So 14 cash remaining. Play urbanized between them. Basically free with the steel. It's one plant. I'm at four cities. Just want to play around the commercial district more than anything here. I could just SP the greenery, if need be. I think it makes sense to be annoying on that front and still progress. Also, I'm getting a bit off track though. He's probably winning that award. <laughs> I do kind of like it though. Just taking the TR from him. But he has more plant prod. So the longer the game goes, the worse it is for me. But. So the question is, is spending 22 mega credits here bad? I think the answer is no. I'm gonna do it. I'm that crazy. Gonna do it on psychrophiles here to help pay for uh, bushes. We're going to slap this baby down. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Bribed is so funny, but I don't think it's good. I'm just going to take the heat. And skip. Okay, insects is pretty huge. Black polar dust is fine, but not really that good. Cartel is too prod for him. 
Two prod for me, whatever, so it's gotta be Lagrange cut. Alright, the card's playable. Just the one, I think. I'd like to get more plants so I can use greenhouses for a conversion, but it ain't happening here, I think. I could get it if I went over there, but I think I'm just gonna block off the good commercial district spots here. We're just gonna <coughs> cut off his access, uh, his good access to the south here. He can always do it with commercial district, but. I think I like bullying him in this way. Taking his TR from him is quite nice. So I'm winning Desert Settler for now, but it's definitely not like a slam dunk or anything. It's just annoying enough for him that he's going to have to contest it a little more seriously than he thought he was going to have to, I think. to think a while on that card there. Interesting. Must be nice. I'm thinking about funding Benefactor still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eighteen TR remaining, basically. That's annoying. If only my Preds could eat them. Once again, protected Habs being as annoying as possible. Does mean he doesn't have birds, likely? Or maybe he does, and he'll hit me with it later. I would like to fund Benefactor, but I'm not certain he can really fund too much here. <sighs> I could take Heat, then he would have to, then he could Standard and take it, or I can wait since I've got so much Heat. I think I should wait. 
But I play that, I'm at 41. So I'm up by 13. Even with GIA, it feels hard to believe he could overtake that. But I also should probably just get out of the game and not worry about funding so much here. Actually, I should play this because of Media Group. I should have played it last gen. I forgot about the Media Group value. So I'm up 13. Like I said, there's like 17 TR left. I have a lot of the oceans. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen, eighteen. I'm up by thirteen. I'm kind of screwed if he has Deimos and GIA. But I don't want to let him fund this, so I'm going to fund it. <laughs> Okay, so do you have the GIA? That's kind of the worst case scenario. But even then, it's not that bad. It finishes up the oceans, and then we're kind of at end game. Mm -hmm. Twisty road it's been to get here. I do not like him having nine plant prod right now. It is very dangerous. And he does have GIA. Okay. Unfortunate on the benefactor. It also means game end is imminent, though.
Alright, it is neck and neck right now. As expected. If he has Ice Asteroid, I'm gonna probably scream. <laughs> like, how can the guy have every space event in the get deck? The risk of funding benefactor. Farming's very good. Okay, gotta take the asteroid. Take the card draw, it's too late for it. Uh, this does nothing. This is probably good enough. I already have a fair bit to play, though. Maybe I can't afford it. I think... Alright, I gotta do some math. So I'm gonna sell that. That's at 64. I have this. That's 18. So that's 15, 12... So I'm at 52. Yeah, I think I can afford it. All right, let's see what he's got. Deimos 2 would be so annoying. <laughs> of course. Of course, he has the two perfect cards for him in this situation. Why wouldn't he? Take those here. <clears throat> Typing it there for people who are watching in the Discord. Very tight game right now. I'm still winning Desert Settler, so he can't ignore that threat either. I feel like I had to take the risk because the state dealer does look very scary here. But it is hard. Guess I should have taken the heat last gen. That way I'm, even though I give him the ocean bonus, it keeps my, uh, it prevents a TR flip. So maybe that was an error on my part. He's getting six more points in from his greeneries. It's not looking good for me. But I mean, I'm getting a fair amount of points. Oh, artificial lake. All right, so he definitely had a state dealer wherever he wanted it then. All right.
when I draw <laughs> nuke zone. Would have been nice previously. Restricted area, still pretty good though for desert settler shenanigans, just fighting on that. But probably not as good as just SP greeneries. Stupid Nitro Moss <laughs> wasn't playable for basically the whole game. I got basically kelp farming, farming, and greenhouses. That's, uh, th you know, six points there. And I get another conversion. It's not terrible. Up there. Why not? I guess that gets him enough rebates. Restricted area could do something. Uh, I'm just gonna stall out heat. Heat doesn't matter anymore. No Magfield Dome, please. If I had a steel dump, I would be much happier, but I don't. But that city should hopefully get me another flip. Okay. That's most of his points. Very close game. <laughs> if he birds just me, then maybe this was a mistake. I think I sell nuke zone, but I still keep restricted area. That is another greenery. I can't afford it, but insects is probably just better. Four, five, five prod, yeah. There's no way. Nitro Moss is worth it here. <laughs> I 
Um, I think another city is unlikely. So I should keep maximum flexibility here. What you got, Parker? A way to flip. No, he ties it. Oh. Uh. He ties it, but I think I have enough VP still. What are we looking like on Desert Settler? So, with restricted area and insects. Not enough. I needed to go over here for a plant. Oh no. That's kind of a disaster. Uh, this is five plants. Yeah. So he's getting one more conversion. If I do insects, that's four. So I can do restricted insects. And I tie Desert Settler. The other way it gets me three points, though. Because this... Uh, it doesn't get me one there. It gets me one point on decomposers. A point from kelp that's two points and then that's 10 plants 14 not enough for another greenery so restricted area insects is better and I can block off a point there Actually, can I afford kelp instead of that if I go to cash? I can. It's a point either way. So, I could draw something better. Yeah, I could draw something better. <laughs> Earth catapult. Funny. Okay, I think I have barely enough, but I'm not 100% sure. It's super close. Yeah, okay. I did barely have enough. Whew! Alright, 101 to 90. I am glad that I squeaked that out despite him having the worst case sequence for me. But uh, on to game two.